Hi, my name is Tyler Dennison. I'm the mountain bike product manager here at Quality Bicycle Products. I'd like to talk to you today about direct mount front derailleurs on mountain bikes. The reason that manufacturers are adopting these direct mount front derailleurs is because it allows them to separate the positioning of the front derailleur cage away from the positioning of the seat tube of the bike. Typically we have front derailleurs that mount to a clamp band on that seat tube, but with direct mount front derailleurs, manufacturers can bolt the front derailleur directly to the frame. This allows the front derailleur cage to engage the chain ring shifting points more optimally as well as adjust the angle of that front derailleur cage. The first type that you're going to be most familiar with is going to be Shimano's E-Type front derailleur. This is mounted to a back plate. The back plate attaches on to the bottom bracket flange and there is a bolt that goes and attaches directly to the frame. Many manufacturers have used this standard, however, here at QBP, we use this most often on the Surly Pugsley fat bike. The E-Type front derailleur is actually two types of direct mount front derailleur. When we remove the back plate, this is going to turn into an E2 type front derailleur. The E2 direct mount front derailleur can be identified because it bolts are 22.1 millimeters apart from one another. The other thing that you'll notice is that there's a fixed distance between the bolts as well as the front derailleur cage without any vertical adjustment. That means that when selecting a front derailleur, you'll need to account for your chain ring selection as well. QBP only carries the E-type front derailleur because the removal of the backplate allows this front derailleur to serve as both types. SRAM calls their front derailleur for the standard an S3 mount, but you'll also see it referred to as an E2 direct mount. We've seen this style used on Cannondale, Pivot, LaPierre, as well as many other manufacturers. And I think you're going to see a lot of this type of front derailleur out on the market today. The next type of front derailleur that we'd like to talk about is made exclusively by SRAM and, to our knowledge, it's used only on specialized frames. It's the S1 direct mount. This is going to differ very much from the E2 direct mount in that the plates are going to be flush instead of the 5mm offset that we see on the E2, as well as the bolt circle is going to be 42.7 millimeters apart. This is going to mount to the rear swing arm of certain specialized frames, and to our knowledge, they're the only manufacturer that are using this. Another front derailleur type that's only produced by SRAM is the S2 direct mount. This is going to be very similar to the E2 type direct mount. However, the bolt holes are both 22.1 millimeters apart, but there's no offset to these bolt holes. It's very difficult to distinguish this between an E2 type if you don't know what to look for. The last front derailleur type I'd like to talk about is going to be called the high direct mount. When Shimano is producing these, they are notified by an FD plus the part number plus a D suffix. These are very different from the other direct mount types in that they have vertical adjustability and are able to handle a wide variety of chain ring diameters. These can be identified by one bolt hole and then a notch on the back side to allow the derailleur to not have to twist. If you're using this type of front derailleur on a standard clamp, Problem Solvers does make adapters where you can clamp it onto the frame. This particular one is made for 100 millimeter bottom brackets and can be used on the Salsa Muckluck.